what's up, everybody? What's up? It's your boy, Blick. I be your boy, Blickety Blur. Welcome back, News. Yo, welcome to a brand new episode of GCE News. Come on here. We bring you guys the latest, the greatest, and the hottest in video game news and information. Yo, so we jump right back into it with some uh, fresh stuff for you guys. We got three hot ones, and you ready to jump right into it, Dan? Yeah, we just want to say, you know, welcome back to us. You know, we haven't done a news segment in about what? No, we, we haven't done this kind of new, new segment. segment. We've That's done true. new segments about specific games, but this one is like the general one where we show you guys a trailer and give our thoughts on it, give you like release dates and stuff like that. Uh, funny thing about it is this entire new segment has no release dates. <laughs> <laughs> it's so new, there's no release dates on other stuff yet. None. So, hey. As of when we recorded it. So, yes, yeah. So, okay. hopefully, by the time it comes out next yeah, month, yeah. We'll, you, you'll know what we know. Yeah, you're... All right, guys, so let's jump right into it, starting with number one. Number one is a game called Forever Skies. Whoop, whoop. Say that again. Forever Skies. That sounds like a Disney movie. Uh, could be. So, yo, this game is a uh, nice, interesting game. It uh, looks like it's going to be a double-A style game, but it's rocking from um, Far From Home is a developer, and it's going to be on the Unreal Engine 4, which is good. So Why not 5? It's a double A, so... Oh, it's a double A. It is It, okay. it is going to be a double A. But we're going to let you guys check out the trailer, then we're going to give you guys some more information about the game itself. So hold on tight. It's for Forever Skies. Booyah! Check out the video! We burned paradise. We lit the fire and fled. But death followed. Hidden in our blood. All right, guys, there you go. There you have it. Look, the game has like a... So in the world itself, is like the world itself is poison. It's like, I guess, like one of your burps, like settled on a planet. No, that's, all one, the, all that's, the that's one of my gases from the bottom part. Is that, is that the bottom yeah, part? Because yeah. it, won't, it won't rise. Like Yo, I had that... I had that, it settles. I had that, that chili chunga, whatever you call it. Chimichanga. Uh, 
from the Pope Peoples. That, that ain't that ain't good for nobody. And um and I and I ate some of that hot sauce and we bought that, that whole earth is, is, is and you so just the, okay. The, so that that can actually happen to our earth for real. But the if thing, we let them eat too many more chimichangas. The thing is I like the concept of it. Um Earth is destroyed. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's um it's some poison down at the bottom so you have to stay up. I think once you get your suit strong enough, it looks like um, at the end of it, you saw the guy descending in the elevator yeah. through the green fault. Man, and now, if you notice, when he was trying to fix his um, engine when it, when the lightning hit it. Now, <laughs> not to point out tropes, oh, we do that again? but out of all the metal on the top of that city, that sucker beat. Now, his no. engine could be producing something, some ions or something that can make the lightning do it. I Dude, that's not no ion drive. That's a blip. I don't know. But no, but come on, dude. All the places for lightning here is going to hit his specific engine. I think there was an entity in the um, storm. Can remember, it said, it said a huge life form coming, approaching. You know what? You might be right on that. So it might so have did it on purpose. It might have did it on purpose. Why not destroy the entire ship? Why just hit the engine? Because it might have wanted his his life force energy. We don't he, know what He that. wasn't in the ship, so could have just... Anyway, we don't know. Anyway. We just it looks cool, though. The trailer. The, the trailer does look cool. The it fact cool. that uh, I don't think you're the only person left, but apparently they created a um, travel system. They seem like they got high tech gear. Why don't they have actual ship ships? I don't know. It's probably going to expand in an actual game or you know let release footage for later on. Right. But let's jump into some um, skippity dippities for you. All right. So uh, like I said, the developer is going to be Far From Home. Uh, wink at Spider Man, maybe. I don't know. Far From Home <laughs> is a developer. It's going to be an Unreal Engine four, and we talking Xbox Series X and S. We talking about Microsoft Windows and PlayStation Five. So it is hitting the next gen stuff. But it, it uses Unreal Engine four, and I don't know what it takes to use Unreal Engine five. You know, I, I you know I programmed a VCR as my developing skill. So, what you, what you mean? at the time when the book was this thick with VCR. True that. True I mean, it's an action game, adventure game, but I think there's gonna be some horror elements to it as well. Yeah, because you noticed you called it a thing about some kind of entity of beast or something like that that was yeah. approaching. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to find out. Uh, I like the concept of it. It's a uh, kind of different. It has like a survival. Uh, I, I want to say horror, but I can't say for sure. Like a scientific survival thing. I hope it. I, I, I just hope it don't make me jump like um, something uh, like Resident Evil or something yeah, like that. Like when you get down to the fog. I don't know. You got people like. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you do again? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Cause I saw you do that after one of them chimichangas one time. You right about that? <laughs> I saw you do that. He was waiting for this guy to come out the bathroom because he couldn't get me. He was like. Rrr. Anyway, yo, let's go on to number uh, two. Two. Oh, I'm gonna fight two. Yeah, there you go. That, you, you, you're, get, you're getting better. You're getting better. Those night classes are helping. Yes, yo, they are. Yo, we talking about number two. We talking about this game has some hotness to it, right? Ah. So number two is going to be One Piece Odyssey. So One Piece has some games out with the Straw Hat Pirates and stuff like that nature. But Odyssey looks like it's going to be like the open world Dragon Ball Z kind of Run around the world and it reminds me. And it reminds me of the um, dragon one. I was dragon, the one with the um, what the one? You start off in the village. You go off. You got the dragon feet. quest. Yeah, it seemed like the art style is of Dragon Quest. Oh, okay, okay. The, the one that we played, um, dragon. I think it was four, eleven, or I can't remember. Eleven. Yeah, we played 11. ten, eleven. But, yeah, whatever Dragon Quest we played. But so look, it has that art style. Now. Now this is not the first One Piece game by far, but this is Odyssey. It's gonna be like a. Um, it's gonna be a J, J. Yeah, JRPG, G. Japanese art, role, role playing, playing game. game. Yeah. yeah. So it's gonna have a ton of elements in there, um, a bunch of stuff you can do. But look, look. Let, let the trailer. Let the trailer talk to you a little bit first, and then we'll give you some more information on the back of that. So let's jump right into the trailer. <laughs> That's what he does. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought she was going to do, like, the middle finger. What the fuck? I was watching, like, oh, my God. Like, anyway, but guys. What he do? He blows up his fist and hits people. He does. He does. He does. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were going with that. <laughs> Check out the video. <laughs> I didn't know you were going.
Alright, y'all, there you go. That's a One Piece Odyssey trailer. It looks tight. It looks good. It looks it looks like Dragon. I, I like the art style. I'm just trying to see how they're going to do, because you're stuck on this island. So I want to know how big this this actual island or this part of the world is going to be. Now, the thing about it right off the bat, you're dealing with One Piece. One Piece. Uh, I, one One I, Piece. I've only seen the fight scenes. I've never watched the whole story. Oh, well, One Piece myth, though, and you're talking to a guy, I probably, I don't know, I probably did 200 episodes, maybe. 200, could be more. I, I mean, to the Grand Line, all that stuff. I've seen all that stuff. One Piece world is is fantasy. It's fantastic. It probably has... It, it's one of the number one rated RPGs out there. It, is it whimsical? Uh, okay, let's do whimsical. Anyway, uh, the, uh, the animation is tight. The action is tight. The characters are great. Luffy evolves. Like, I thought Luffy was uh, OP in the very beginning, but, you know, eating a um, gum gum fruit, but... He even found ways to level himself up. The what, gum gum fruit. What is a gum gum fruit? It's a fruit that you eat that makes you gummy. I thought he just has that power. No, he ate the gum gum fruit. And so it's, I, it's it's devil fruits. So after he ate that, then he got the then he got the gum gum power. So he can never lose the gum gum power. I don't know. What's, I don't, the, what, what's the gum gum power? Gum gum gum, gum rubber. It makes you rubber. Gum gum. Like see, like so. Like so if you were in One Piece, you would eat the gum gum fruit. Cause it would uh, your father. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get one piece example. I'm not taking shots. So there's there's a there's a flame fruit. You eat it, you get flame powers. There's a steel fruit or hardened fruit or uh, mecha fruit. So what makes him so OP though? Well, number one, he was he was strong as it is. He's strong. We know in anime, Japanese anime, if you got a strong will, you can beat anybody. Right. So he always has that strong will, that happy-go-lucky personality. Seems like nothing bothers him unless you hurt one of his friends or treat somebody innocent bad. But like the most dangerous situations, he'll smile through it and just deal with it. So, so when he ate the gum gum fruit, it enhanced his already mental power. So let me ask you So how did he? So no one else can get the gum gum fruit but him. He ate it. It's gone. So you only get one gum gum fruit. It's one. It's one style of certain devil fruits. Yeah. Devil fruit. Like devil fruits. It's devil. Like devil. Yeah. Like Diablo. Like. Yeah. Okay, I've never watched it. To me, I've seen the fight scenes, they look good, but I just couldn't get past the rubber. Him bouncing. Yeah. I just, I That's just the gum gum fruit. But okay. look, now uh, we can get into a, a super long dissertation about One Piece and you why it's awesome. Dissert dissertation. Did you just say that? I said dissertation. Dude, you're just you're just too smart for your own good. Well, why do you think I wear the glasses? Anyway, uh, Clark Kent. <laughs> they take, these glasses take my IQ up like 10 points when I wear them. So if I take them like, off. Like one. Mm. Put it back on, you know, like you see the hypothesis of the uh dissertation is directly ascertained when you in other words to the in other words he's saying that the series is good. So yeah. if the series is if this is anything, fifteen percent of the series is gonna be a great game. Yeah, between the writing, the action, the anime, and the characters and the and the stories and stuff like that, this game can be wide open, like super awesome. Could be. All right, so let's give you some uh, information about it. So this is going to release sometime in 2022, which it is now. Uh, we're in mid-season. I thought it's still the beginning. We're still in the early part. It's March. Yeah, still, still. I think this first quarter. March, April, March, April. Yeah. First, second I, quarter, isn't it? I don't know. First quarter? I can't remember. I don't remember either. Anyway, um, so it's going to be on the PS4, mm -hmm. PS5, mm -hmm. Xbox X, and S, and on PC. So it's covering all all branches, every major um Gaming Network. <clears throat> Forbidden West. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, you still on uh, uh, all. You still on honoring about that, then. Mm, all, right. all right. So, um, with that, also, uh, as soon as I move this pop up here, uh, da, 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 yeah, I don't have a uh, mouse pad on my leg. All right. Anyway, so with that, also, we're looking at that. This is going to be uh, Namco. I'm sorry, Bandai Namco, of course. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not a hard release date yet. But uh, remember that there's a One Piece Day coming up. It's the 25th anniversary uh, big celebration coming up for One Piece. And so June, One Piece is that, Day is actually July 22nd. It might be coming out that day. Yeah, so there's speculation that July 22nd is going to be the date drop. Um, and they, we still, will, they still have plenty of time. And, to, uh, we, we will be getting the game. This is one of the games we will be getting, and we will be playing this game. Seems like it's going to be good. That and um, no, what is the other the one previously? Um, what? Yeah, Forever Skies. We Forever might be Skies. getting that too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we love the we love the double A developers because I think they put um, last year they put their heart and soul into the um, 
with Kena, even with Kena Sifu. Sifu yeah. was um, even so one piece is gonna be triple A. Yeah, it's Band, gonna be triple A. Bandai Namco is gonna put some put some bank into this one. Let me tell you that, because I think some of the voice actors from the anime are coming over. I believe that'd be good. It's yeah. always good. It's yeah, always even though good. even though you never seen that but the fights, uh, no, which are pretty awesome. They um, are. So let's go on over to speaking <laughs> speaking of pretty awesome. Let's jump on over to number three. Number three is a personal... What? Number three is a personal favorite of his. It's one of those games that he will play even to this day if he had enough time in his life to play it. He will beat it, play it again, beat it, and play it again. What game are we talking about, sir? We're talking about Dead Space. This is the remake of Dead Space. Of Dead Space. The not original. remaster. Not remaster. This is the new next gen um, jumping on the, the brand new Frostbite engine. Is it Frostbite? Frostbite engine. Mm -hmm. Dead Space. I think they've been doing better than they did um, Unreal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The Frostbite engine, man, is is in its own, in its but, own right. But, but the Frostbite Does, does EA use? Frost, that's what messed up um, a lot of, I think, um, one that does um, oh, Mass? Was Mass Effect. When they did Mass Effect 4, Andromeda, the Frostbite engine, they was running into problems with that engine. Well, that was years ago. And this franchise has a potential. Like, if, if this Dead Space remake comes out good, it has it has the power to rebirth the franchise altogether. It does. It's a really good but franchise. But it has to be. I'm going to tell you, if they make it as good as Resident Evil 2 was, not Resident Evil 3, but Resident Evil 2 was, to me, the pinnacle of a remake. They did really good on Resident Evil um, okay. 2. That is true. But look, we're going to show you guys some gameplay footage. This is some new gameplay footage. This is footage. alpha. This is like There's not an actual trailer trailer out yet, but check out this gameplay footage so you guys can see how it's, sharp, it's shaping up to be a real good-looking, crisp game. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And if you haven't played the originals, if you still got a PS3, PS4, uh -huh. Uh -huh. PS4? No. Yeah, PS3. Yeah, yeah 3. I PS, it, was two. It, started, it started on 3, I believe. I could be wrong. I can look it up. No, it could be three. Because it wasn't on... I mean, I think the last yeah, it one was, was on it was four. Three, it was two on three and one on four. Yeah. yeah. The last one that nobody really likes. I loved all three of them, dude. Did you? I played it, dude. Uh, red eyes. I had to be to work for like a half an hour. And I was like, <laughs> come on, Isaac! Come on, Isaac! Come on, Drew! I'm going right, to tell you wait. my extent of playing it. Anyway, got, let's, try, let's talk about the gameplay. Can I just say this? I got it on the mobile pad and I was playing it and the first thing jumped and I dropped it on the... Oh, never mind. I closed it. I bought it. I close it up. Yeah, there ain't gonna be no Sesame Street mode on this one, baby. So check out this gameplay footage that we got so you guys can get all star salivating about this upcoming game, which also doesn't have a release date, but regardless. Hey, they said 2020, um, 2023 might be the release date. Could be. <laughs> Hercules, 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 Hercules. Boy, that game look tight. That don't look tighter than your Sunday suit. Boy, that don't look tight. It look all right. Nah, it looks good. It looks really good. But he's he's all geeked for it. 
Um, if you didn't notice what, it. What? Don't touch the hiney. <laughs> Stop it. I can't anyway, wait to play it. Stop it. I can't wait. Stop it. Anyway, um, the graphics look good. Yes. Um, even the water dripping off the ceiling, hitting, splashing off and the... Um, bouncing off his suit. suit. Yeah, I think it has, um, it has like, he sprayed it with rock, water repellent before he jumped in there. So in case so you guess, rust <laughs> oleum. <laughs> so rust oleum, so when he rusted it. But it's pretty good. But, but um, it looks good. Um, some of the shadows um, could have used some anti-aliasing on it, but this again, this is pretty... Some anti-what? Aliens, al aliens on it. Oh, anti you mean you mean that little button you hit in the display yeah. that had to actually was, you had to explain it to me seven times. Yeah, that yeah. thing. It smooths out the edges, right? Do you I, have anti-alias on your head? Do you have that on your head? Yes, I do. Okay. So anyway, so it looks good. It looks really good. Even the fact that you saw the monster run through the vent. Now you played the first one. Could you? I played could, all of them. Could you see the monster run from the vent from the first yes. one? Yes. But as clear as this one. No, this one look now. This one looked way better. Um, it way better, five was, five times better, three times. It better. was only a quick little glimpse of it, so I didn't see as much detail as I probably could have. But right, um, it still had the same effect that the original one had on the PS4, PS3, um, on the PS3, which was really good. Now remember, the PS3 version of it was much like the uh, Resident Evil versions of it right, on the okay. PS3, which was uh, had a Capcom feel to it, but it was mm -hmm. made by Visceral Games, which was later bought over by EA. So now. And it looked good. It still looked good. I think my only problem is the Frostbite engine. Um, they've had problems with that engine. I wish they would have used Unreal Engine 5. Well, they did. They did have the, have a problem with it. But remember, the Frostbite engine, the first iteration that they had issues with was on um, Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda, mm -hmm. which is your favorite game, I thought, right? No, it's not, not at all. Oh, okay. I'm surprised he didn't just punch me in the face just now. <laughs> um, come on. Woosa. Woosa. Do your ears. Do your ears. Woosa. Remember, do your ears. Usa. Sorry. Mass Effect and drama is a curse word in here. It is. I'm, I'm sorry. It is. Anyway, uh, but see, since then, that was years ago. So they had time to develop and tweak and I thought Frost steal, steal stuff from I the thought, Unreal Engine. I thought Frostbite Engine was also used in that game that you like by, by Bioware with the suit, the mech suits. Oh. <laughs> you talking about Anthem? Yeah, I thought Frostbite Engine was used in And, and it worked beautifully. The engine worked good. It was just the microtransactions and stuff like that that kind of put that game on a downward spiral. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I still play Anthem to this day. Thank you. But I think I think the game, other than that, that scares me because I'm hoping they can do what I know, I you know, what Unreal Engine 5 can do. Well, so um, I'm, Unreal Engine 5 is Unreal Engine 5. I don't expect that. <laughs> is the, it Unreal or is it real? I don't expect the Frostbite <laughs> engine to operate like that, but the Frostbite engine does exactly what it's supposed to do, and there's going to be tweak to it get may, maximum it, it effect it may, on the PS5. It makes everybody cold towards the game. Frostbite. I wish I had a little drum set. I go, <laughs> boom, but no, it looks good. Um, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to this game. Okay, so okay, so information on it. It's of course it's a horror survivor game. Uh, well, space horror survivor game. It's Resident Evil in space. Kind of like that Resident Evil peek around the corner, cameras tight over your shoulder, kind of jump you out. You sure name the other one in space? And then Dino Crisis Three. No, not Dino Crisis. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad blitz, that blur, bad, bad blur, that, bad blur. That was a that was a horrible game. It was. I played the whole thing still. It was still horrible. I still played it, but they played it like I don't know. It's like I was playing a, a anime, and I was like, "Who are these people? I, who are these people? And why are they in space?" Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, um, so now uh, Dead Space is an upcoming science fictional survival horror video game developed by Motive Studio. All right, now Motor doing, Studio is published by, yeah, they're doing a remake, which is published by uh, EA, Electronic Arts. Um, uh, within that, of course, you know, Electronic, it's a single player video game, uh, third person, it's not gonna be first person. Bleh. All right, um, and it's gonna be on the Xbox Series X and S, Microsoft Windows, and PlayStation 5. What is it gonna come to? So PS4 is not gonna get it, Switch is not gonna get it. But the PC will. The PC will. And Zero Dawn! Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a little bitter because Zero Dawn didn't Put it on know, PC. spread the love. Spread it like butter, baby. Um, but still, regardless, uh, this game is going to be... Um, I mean, this this kind of game you take off like three days or something like that and uh, play it only at night. You going to play it at night? You ain't going to play it at all, are you? <laughs> 
I'm gonna let you play it. So it's a horse, it's a survival horror game. So I'll be the one playing it, of course. Yes, because I don't, I don't do survival. Horror That's how we do. Because if you look at the PlayStation, um, the PlayStation, uh, what was it called? Resident Evil. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even want to, I didn't want to play it. And that, now, for those of you who want to see just how shady he is, I, I'm gonna try to put a link down in, in the thing where you can see his reaction to when he actually played. Uh, Resident Evil Village I went upstairs. and how, how spooked he was. I, I went upstairs and the thing fell and that was in for me. I gave it back to him. So here you go. Yeah. Well, Dead Space is not going to have no Sesame Street mode. Which is yes, it is. Mode. It, no, it is. It's not. It is. I bet you. It's not going to have no Sesame Street It mode. is. This, this is not Dark Souls of Space. Well, <laughs> This is not Dark Souls of Space. It's not going to be on easy mode, I'm telling you. It's going to be a very easy mode. It's I'm gonna, telling you it's gonna be It's going to be Sesame Street mode, very easy mode, easy mode, Easy on the easy mode. Then it's going to go to medium. Then blur mode. No, no. Medium. Then it's going to go to medium, hard. Then medium, soft. Then it's going to go to hard. Then the, then the next level will be dark soul level hard. There you go. Anyway, I can't wait to see Isaac get back into the suit. Um, I, I hope they do more with his You know his whole time. purpose of being in the first place? Uh, was his girlfriend. His girlfriend. Oh, spoilers. Well, if you haven't played, that's your fault. Anyway, yes, girlfriend. See? Women. Women. Again, yeah, but but it at, wasn't at the cause of was, an entire but, but, international incident. But but it wasn't her. It was the um, Come on, ladies. It wasn't her. She's like Princess Peach. But it wasn't her. I know, but she's like the Princess it, Peach but, of a space horror. Yeah, but, but it wasn't her. It wasn't? What do you it, mean? It was the op the uh, what is the thing called? The obelisk? Not the obelisk. What uh -huh. is it, it is the obelisk. The yeah. obelisk was talking to her, talking to him, but using her voice and her imagery to get him to do what it wanted him to do. <laughs> You done a little bit of research, huh? No, I watched the I I watched the storyline of it. I know the storyline. Okay. I just okay. never. I mean, you're wrong, it. but you did. You did. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's not. Wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, she she was actually there. Yeah, she the was. Just, didn't affect she, him until she he was, got to the station. She was there, but she was dead. She was dead the whole the time. The obvious didn't affect him until he got there. Yeah, what I'm saying to you, when he got there, it did affect him, but she was already dead. Okay. Did you I, see? Hold on. If you like it so much, did you see the? The anime, spe the anime, yeah, the anime in between. It was between um, between when the girl two and three. When the girl survived, no, it was between one and two. It was between one and two. Did you see when the girl it's like survived? Matrix Reloaded. Yeah, did you see? Um, did you see the other one? It was two of them. It was okay. one where it was. Um, it's in between the games, right? Then there was another one where they showed like five different stories. I don't know. It's like four different remember. stories. And they um, told us to see. I, I've I seen, seen a lot, dude. This is, seen. This is over the That's because you just watched it like double week. No, I didn't. I was at ground zero, baby. Three, three years. Playing the game and watching it. He ain't played no game. I I, ain't, I didn't play Dead Space 1, 2, and 3. No, we didn't. We, that's when we and people, then played Lost World this is when I wasn't playing that. Those of you know Lost World is, holla at your boy. But the, the thing is. Leave this, down in the comments if you before, play Lost World 1, 2, and 3. This is before we had real jobs so we couldn't afford nothing. And I had all those games. <laughs> I played every single one of them to the end. I... I, the 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 part three uh, got some bad stuff because EA took it over and changed some took some liberties and stuff like that. Do you know in part that two final fight? Hold on. Do you know in part two it was almost ruined because of one scene? What do you mean? The What's scene that the technical or some technical came in there and it and, and it came out and went in and did something. It was like a monster. Uh, the guy who made it said if it wouldn't have got it right, it would have ruined the rest of the game. Oh, the oh, programming it. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. said that. They said it was really hard to get it, but they got it. So I, I thought the hard part in the game was when it lets that needle go into your eye, and you just you just gotta get the needle in your eye. Hold on, hold on. That sounds just like another game that you have to put the needle in the eye. What game was that? The one where you had the um, the mimics and stuff. I can't think. Of, we played so many games. I can't think of the game. I know Galarians. No, the other one. With mimics, you say? Yeah, the, they, the ink things that were changing. You had the um, the brother was telling you, and everything was allowed on the on the Talos the Talos ship Talos one ship. I can't remember what it was. Dude, we play a lot of games. I, you gotta, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's right over there. Pray. The oh, pray. pray. You had to stick things in your eye. Oh, you did. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. It's a lot of games you had to stick stuff in your eye. Yeah, well, as long as it don't <laughs> gotta go nothing, and I'm all right with it. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much, guys, for sitting and listening to uh, two guys ramble about video games. Yo, it's what we do. And we want to thank y'all, our current and new subscribers, for rocking with us. I know we haven't had this type of format in a while, and we just got into it. So sorry it's a little long. Normally, we try to keep it like 15 minutes flat. But look, there wasn't no news to talk about. Yeah, it wasn't no news. Wasn't nothing specifically coming out. And <laughs> real hot stuff we did reactions for. Yeah. So... I want to thank all our new and current subscribers for rocking with us. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share this content with other game-loving, abiding 
people. Where else can they find us at? Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can also find us on, uh, jump over there on TikTok at game underscore changers underscore ENT to see some behind the scenes footage. Make sure you um, like, share, and follow over there also. I'm going to leave a, a link for it down in the bio right under the description. And you can just click on that and go right to it from your mobile device. Now, do us a favor. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Yes. So we can get this community to grow. Thank y'all for sticking it out with us. Uh, we had a, you know, get, got some rocks, some rocky st- things going on, you know, but you yeah. stuck in, you stuck in, you know. Yeah, fam- like, family life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, life, life happens, and when it does. But when, video games happen. See, when life serves you lemons. I don't like Make lemonade. apple pie. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. Lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue, okay. Life serves you lemons. Make lemon, make lemon meringue. turnovers. Yeah, whatever. Look, this is your boy Blur. <laughs> it's your boy Blitz. And we will GCU apple turnovers later. Later. Lemon meringue pie. Thank you, everybody. Welcome back. Good. Oh, good to see you. I was wondering, hey, you know we thought we forgot about you, didn't you? What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, what's up, that young lady right there? Remember that young lady that gave us that comment oh, that one time? Oh, yeah. How you doing, sis? We appreciate you rocking and staying with us. That psychedelic medicine you take is not helping you. Oh, it isn't? No. Oh. All right. Peace, guys.